Hello and welcome, this is Colin Ban, and uh, yeah, we're playing Crusader Kings today. And as you probably know from the, the thumbnail and the title of this video, we are going to be playing as Ireland. We're going to unite Ireland, which is something that has been done before a thousand times probably. It's like newbie, newbie island, Ireland. Uh, everyone who wants to start playing Crusader King should start in Ireland. Uh, and I was actually planning to do something else. I was planning uh, to go to the Old Gods. Like, I was planning to start in the Old Gods uh, bookmark. And I was planning to play as one of the heirs of Charlemagne. But <laughs> right as I was about to sit down and record that, I found out that uh, the new uh, DLC would actually be all about Charlemagne. So it would, I don't know, it just seemed a bit strange to me. And besides, even though everyone has conquered Ireland at this point, it's still, it can be rather interesting. You're not really going to see anything mind-breaking in this video. It's probably going to be a very standard conquer Ireland tactic. Uh, become Britannia, yes, and we'll see where it goes from there. But uh, I am going to explain every single thing I do in the game and I like to play it rather ponderously and, you know, take my time. So if that's your cup of tea, you've come to the right place. So, and I should probably note uh, that uh, this is the first video ever recorded for uh, this channel. Uh, and this is the first playthrough that's ever going to be recorded for this channel, obviously. So, let's just get right into it now. Where in Ireland would we like to start? Like, the easiest would obviously be to start with a petty king, because they already have claims like Connacht, the petty king of Connacht. King 8 of Connacht already has a claim on Breifne, because that's part of his petty kingdom. So let's not do the easy thing. Uh, let's start as the county of Dublin. Uh, Earl Morchat of Dublin. Yes, let's do that. Okay. So uh, when I uh, conquered Ireland the first time around, I did it as. Desmond, I'm pretty sure. My, maybe it was Ormond or Thormund. Yeah, might have been that. Because I figured might as well start at that point. But uh, we're going to be playing as Dublin. And I hope it would be... Like, I have... I don't know how much... About 400 hours locked in this game. And it would be a shame to actually fail at uniting Ireland. Because I've done it so many times before. Okay, so let's see. We are Earl Morshat of Dublin. We are a misguided warrior. We are lustful, honest, humble, and temperate. Could be a worse character, but our skills are not very good. Let's see. Uh, ooh, okay. Our, our heir, who is 19 years old, is a grey eminence. That's great. He's content. That's okay. Well, it's not that good. Proud, that's good. Like I like it. I like I like having proud characters more than I like having humble characters. Uh, on this, except for in certain situations, he's shy, and he's arbitrary. That sucks. Both of those suck. His diplomacy score is okay. His stewardship could be better, but it's okay. Now let's see who we can marry him off to. Mm -hmm. oh, what? Who has the best stewardship? She has a hair lip. She's Frankish and would give us... Oh! Gwyneth. We could... We could... Ally with the Welsh. That would be nice. But really, usually I... Uh, I pick wives for... You know, there are two different ways to really go about picking wives. Either you do it for uh, political reasons, as we're currently pondering, or you do it for eugenics. 
and just try to get the best babies possible and that's what I usually like to do so I'm going to try that as well I'm going to see if there are any oh my god oh that's just my realm right search okay see this is good attractive or quick if you have you probably know this already if you've seen a few of these videos uh, if the trade is in like this heart shape that means it is it can be uh, it can be passed on to your children so that's nice and you and you want that oh, you you have to be an adult i would prefer an adult for my son an adult is anyone 16 or over okay so what we want to find here is a genius preferably a genius who is younger than our son and preferably a genius who wants to marry our son we don't want this this is a slow character she's uh, and we certainly don't want a celibate character because they're not going to have children ever um, okay here's a genius a ship Cortian Chalons she's cynical brave cruel content and a genius and this is a great stat and we have a chance to pass that on to our children or our heirs children uh, so we are going to arrange a marriage between our heir and this gal and she's going to say yes so we're going to marry a Frankish noble with yeah no important a lowborn Frankish noble so no important family at all what is our ambition? Our ambition is to, well, not become the king of the island right now, because it doesn't really help us. It, If we are pagan, it guarantees us an unlimited use of the subjugation castles belly within the kingdom, but we are not pagan. So I'm going to hmm, improve my stewardship. It's always good to have as high stewardship as possible. Okay, so a lot of this game will be just waiting, so we might as well raise it to to 5 speed already. Okay, so a merchant caravan from distant lands wants to visit us, so we're letting them in. And da -da -da, tell us more about this mythical realm of Hindustan. Da, da, da. He gives us a servant as a gift named Arif, and we are accepting his gifts. So while we wait, we might as well. Oh wait, right, my council. I always forget this. This is after 400 hours in this game. I really should begin to remember. Oh, Arif. Okay, so Arif is a new look, and he's a Bedouin. Uh, he's our, our faith, and he's very loyal to us. And he's brilliant strategist, so this is actually brilliant. We're going to have to make him a, a general. So, Arif, you're going to be training troops because we want more troops than the other Irish counts, earls. And uh, hmm, our counselor, who is the best counselor we can possibly have right now, you are going to be fabricating a claim on Kildare. Because we might as well get the. Let's see. Might as well might as well get the county of Tara while we're at it. Uh, as soon as possible. Uh, our steward, we want to have more money than the others, so collect taxes. Spymaster, we want people to not kill us, so please sheen and find out if people are doing anything. Yeah, s sub the f if is doing are doing anything sub the fugery and all that i don't know how to work that <laughs> okay so um and this guy you're going to you're going to become friends with the pope because we need to be friends with the pope it's always a good idea to have the pope on your side if you're a catholic and the pope right now he likes us he's he thinks we're okay he doesn't love us or anything, but he thinks we're okay. 
So uh, that's positive. Da da da. Schlein might fancy me. Uh, do I make a move? Uh, ah, I might as well. I don't want to lose prestige. And she's falling in love with me. That's fine. Always. Okay, so I have a lover now and I have a wife, so I might be getting a ton of bastards soon. Uh, Earl Moshat of Dublin has inherited the county of Leinster from. Alright! Well, that's nice. But it's problematic that I have Gable kind. I will have to uh, change that to Tanistry as early as possible, which is now. Uh, as soon, I just need everyone to like me, all of my vassals. That means Kelach, Shalach. Okay, I'm not even going to pretend like I, I can pronounce uh, Gaelic, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Ein Mare. Please do tell me all about how much I am botching the pronunciation in the comments. I would really appreciate it because it's probably humiliating and uh, I'm probably going to be doing that a lot. Uh, so yeah. Okay, they both like me now. So I'm going to be changing my succession to Tennessee. Which I personally think is like the best succession law ever because it's like elective monarchy, except that it's uh, it's only people who uh, it's only people in your family who can be elected, and that's absolutely brilliant. So okay, I guess we'll keep it at done now, right now, before he gets any genius children. Oh, and people don't agree with me. Most people actually want my cousin, uh, Dunchad of Dublin, to become the next guy. That's because he's, well, I don't know. People like him, I guess. Like him better than they like me. Like, like him better than they like my son. Like my firstborn, obviously. So I guess it's going to be my cousin. That's okay, actually. Uh, I still think Tadistry is one of the better ones. Even though sometimes they do stuff that you don't really agree with. At least the guy who gets chosen will always be from your dynasty. So you don't like suddenly lose a ton of titles. Okay. These two of my sons don't hold any land. And that's bad. Because... They are like, hey, dad, why haven't you given me any land? It's the feudal ages. Don't you know what's down? And, yeah, well, okay. Mm -hmm. I will reward, reward bish the bishop in private so that the other guys don't think I'm an idiot. Oh, did my... No. Ah. <sighs> The genius died of smallpox. Oh wait, no, that was not the genius, that was some other person. Oh, that's great. Okay, great, so I can marry this guy to, like, my heir, I can marry him to... To a genius or something. I'll find someone. Please, 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 someone be a genius. Come on, come on. Need those good genes in my family. Ooh, strong. That's actually... That's what I would go for if we don't find any geniuses. Strong is a very good trait as well. Especially because it makes our... Uh, our men's procreate more. Our characters procreate more and it makes them more healthy so they survive longer. Oh, there are so many Catholics in this world. One more strong person. I really wish they, they would just let us uh, search for inheritable traits. Because that's 
like a lot of the time when you are when you are using this interface that's that's basically what you are using it for okay so where was that 18 year old strong person okay marquisa she doesn't really like me and that's because she's chased and i'm wait she's chased yeah she's chased Okay, strong makes her 10% more fertile, chaste makes her 50. Alright, let's find that 16 year old instead, because I hope she's not chaste. Okay. She's chaste too? Ah, fuck. Okay. Ah. Uh, well, go for her then, because you have longer time trying to get the children with her than you have with the other one. So you might as well, I guess. Ah. Uh, God damn it. What's with Chaste suddenly being uh, popular? <laughs> Speaking of devil... Well, personally I might as well be, because it's going to give me more piety. It's going to make all the Christians like me more, and well, I might as well. But it didn't happen. I am still a lustful old bastard. Well, figuratively a bastard, not literally a bastard. I, I'm very surprised I don't actually seem to have any bastards in my family. Ooh, gregarious. Gregarious is a great trait. It makes us very socially competent. We like talking, we like talking with people and stuff like that. Uh, people keep getting hurt. Okay, we have a better cancellor. And we're going to send him to fabricate flames in Osory. Might as well become the the Duke of Leinster before we become the Duke of uh, Tara. Yeah, I'm sorry about the... Uh, it's probably a bit boring to watch right now. Uh, because, let's be honest, stuff doesn't really happen in, in Ireland all that much. I mean... Uh, it's called Newbie Island for a reason. So, uh, I'm, I'm like constantly thinking maybe I should like go... Go uh, over some really, really standard stuff. Like, what are counts, what are barons, what is a duchy, what is a kingdom in this game. Uh, oh, okay, we got, a, we got a claim. And I'm like constantly thinking, maybe I should start doing that. But I'm like, why make this into a tutorial? I mean, there are already so very many uh, Crusader Kings tutorials out there. And a lot of them are probably done a lot better than I could ever hope to do. Like, uh, if you want to... Uh, to get some really in-depth, uh, like, uh, if you want a really in-depth run-through of Crusader Kings 2, or any grand strategy game for that matter, I think you should go to Arumba's channel, Arumba, A-R-U-M-B-A, -A. he's one of my favorite Let's Players, uh, one of the ones who uh, inspired me to start doing it myself, and he does a lot of... Uh, like tutorial videos and stuff like that so uh, check him out <laughs> like really uh, oh did I have twins oh no, fuck that uh, like seriously the, the main reason that I'm not going to make this into a tutorial not even trying is because I think it's already been done that much better by so many people okay I'm calling the Welsh into this war and they're saying yes I'm waiting for the Welsh to come over here, because I'm like, maybe I should just assault them, uh, because it is planes and I have more people than them, but I'm kind of worried, I want to be, I want to be 100% sure before I really do something. So I'm going to call in my Welsh uh, ally, and hope, yeah, they're coming to support me, and we keep getting babies in our dynasty. Okay, great. So the Welsh... 
Okay, new court chaplain. Fine. New guy to send to the Pope. And this guy is actually a lot better at it. Wait. Ah, fuck. I sent it to Pisa last time. So th it's really good this actually happened. Otherwise I would have some guy looking for the Pope in Pisa and everyone would laugh at me. Okay, I'm going to try to go for celibate here because I don't really need more children. And that's basically what hedonist does and celibate makes me makes the pope and oh shit and and the christians in general really love me okay so for some reason the welsh don't really want to like join my big army so i'm just going to go ahead and invade them and hopefully the welsh and they came and helped me great I should probably turn off auto save uh, for next time because there's no reason for auto save really. Well, except for if I crashed. Yeah, but if I crashed, I would just like redo the whole video. So there's really no point in auto saving. Okay, so uh, as you see, we took or are taking Osory and it's only really going one way. Uh, so that's brilliant. We are starting out strong. Oh my god, is my co is my cousin Air really the best spy master we have? That is ridiculous. Eight is eight the best intrigue score we have in our realm. Ah, oh, that's humiliating. Ah, but at least we have Osory now. And it's ours. Great. And we can create the Duchy of Leinster, which we will do. And we're going to nominate... Once again, we're going to nominate Domino. And this time... Yeah, they're doing the same thing. They really like that cousin of ours, for some reason. Fuck. Okay. So as you see, I really need some more... Uh, Stewardship because I can't hold more than uh, three holdings uh, personally. Oh, a mysterious Jewish man, well versed in court intrigue, past both a mercenary and spy. Excellent, we got a Jew who's really good at being a spy master. That is a godsend. Sadly, he doesn't really like us right now. Uh, and that's because he's. Well, that's because he has a different religion than we have. Uh, so, I mean, I guess that's understandable. But uh, we're going to make him the High Almana. Which is really inappropriate now that I think about it, making a Jew a High Almana. But fuck that. Um, my spouse, Queen Tal Tio, has made by adulterous affair public. Ah, damn. Okay, I'm going to disarm the affair. And hopefully I'm going to become chest, chest, and not humble. I really don't want to be humble. Ah, fuck. Oh wait, I was already humble, so it doesn't really make much difference, I guess. But I wanted to be chaste, because humble is already giving me a bit of a boost to piety. Might as well get the one from chaste, because I'm not really using lustful for much. I don't want more children. Uh, do we take the risk? Yeah, we might as well, because... Okay, great. Stressed. Uh, that's not great, because it may got a dem uh, domain size smaller. Hey, okay, we got a new claim. It makes a dom domain si size smaller, and that sucks. But on the other hand, it might make us die faster and uh, get a better character. So, claim on Kildare. Uh, we're going to get uh, Donchard, who is better in, yeah, actually better in every way, except for, except for diplomacy. We're a little bit better in diplomacy. So yeah. Um, kill there. And let's hope the Welsh join us again. 
Okay, they can't join us. They can unfortunately not join you. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'm going to need uh, RF. To uh, lead us into this mess. And hopefully make us survive. And I'm... And my cousin is going to take the flank. I will stay strong, become a celibate. Okay. Come on. Oh, another Jew who is very good in intrigue. Let's see if this one likes us more. He doesn't and he's not as good so we're going to keep Mordecai of Galgani and hope that he doesn't want to kill us because he's really good at his job okay everything is going exactly according to plan uh, Yeah, everything is going exactly according to plan. I'm thinking we're probably going to become the King of Ireland before... Before the 1100... Year. Because, as I said before, becoming the King of Ireland is really not that hard. It's been done a thousand times, and it will probably continue being done. And uh, if you're, if you've never played Crusader Kings 2, uh, in that case, I don't really understand why you're still watching this video. But uh, oh, we're no, no longer stressed. Great. Uh, if you've never played Crusader Kings 2, uh, start out with Ireland. Uh, like it's. You're far away from everything, no one will bother you. Don't start in the old gods because... In the old gods part of bookmark, because then the Vikings will bother you. Start in the Stamford Bridge bookmark. It's it's called Newbie Island for a reason. Okay, I'm creating the Duchy of Tara. And uh, I think that's a good place to end this... Uh, this let's play for now thank you very much for watching please leave your feedback and comments in the well comments and uh, please like and subscribe if you like what you see I want to see more uh, and I'm very happy that you uh, that you wanted to spend your time listening to me talk and watching me uh, play this game uh, have a very good day very good evening very good morning whatever time it is where you're at and I'll see you tomorrow.